Just watch this, watch this, watch this, by the way. And try to poke. And now I'm gonna jump on the Vega. Did you guys see that? Did you guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Wicker here. In today's video, I will show you this insane full lethality cars expert with collector. And you guys will see how much damage we are gonna do with the collector doing so much. Um, yeah, so much additional damage from the collector thanks to the passive. So your execution is gonna be insane with the first ability, the isolation damage, and your burst damage. Since we are pretty much reducing the armor of the opponent to zero, so we're almost doing true damage. And you guys will see the one shot potential with the collector. Hope you guys will enjoy this gameplay. Super uh, competitive game. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let's get started. For the first item, Dust Blade or Humus Ghost Blade, you can switch it up, up to your preference. Dust Blade gives you lethality and. It's very good for you guys to track where the wards are because when the dust blade disappears you know the night stalker passive is not activated because they have a ward in the brush so this is very good for tracking and also whenever you're using your ultimate or your ambushing you will do additional damage thanks to the dust blades passive and you slow them down humus ghost break gives you a lot of lethality attack speed and movement speed the mortal reminder I think these two are must have in this current meta. Mortal Reminder for the anti heal, and then Serpent's Fang to reduce shielding because everyone is using a Mortal Shield bow and ADCs just have too much sustain. And then the Collector for even more lethality to reduce the resistance to up to zero. And then the execution damage. If you would kill them, if they're below 5%, or if you would kill them and there's 5% HP left, you will immediately execute them. For the runes, we were using electrocute for even more burst damage, uh, sudden impact for more lethality, then perseverance for tenacity and resistance, or bone plating for damage reduction, and then mastermind for additional true damage onto monsters. And that's it, and let's right into it. Bam. Okay, let's get started. Put this off. Okay, put this off. So for Kha'Zix in the jungle, I like to start on the blue side toward first. But I think the quality is not that good right now. Okay, it's fine. Ah, oh, they're invading me right now. Um, yeah, we, we, as you guys can see, I put a wall there so I can see if people are invading. But there are three men on it, so I can't really contest it because Rakan and Varus are not there. And I think it's just, uh, whatever. I can just farm the red side right here. I'm gonna get the crux afterwards, and then I'm gonna try to go for his blue buff afterwards. For you guys wondering why I'm not smiting here, because I will have more damage this way. Uh, because I will have the isolation damage on the first ability against the red buff, but not against the crux. So this way you will actually uh, be faster than if you guys were smiting the red buff and then not smiting the crux. But right now I see, okay, Dr. Mondo is just going for his red side right now. So I am just going to try to invade him and uh, take the blue buff. So we're going to be even afterwards. Okay, bot lane died to versus 2 though, even though... Um, they were missing for a few seconds. I mean, they were helping Dr. Mundo to steal, so they were not even in the lane, but yet they still end up um, winning. Okay, I just saw Rakan dashed in, and he dies. Yeah, he just jumped in alone against two people, and he died. And okay. Okay, we get this as well. I'm gonna run away. That cage is so annoying, though. I tried to jump. That cage was bad. I mean, um, that cage was good. My jump was bad. Oops. I said it wrong. I'm going to try to see if I can see this. Oh, now I see it. Dr. Mundo is immediately coming. I thought he would chase and try to fight as well in the mid lane. But he already came. And he just took it. 
it's too risky because he's full HP and the others might be coming. The others might be coming from the mid lane to the scuttle. So I was like, nah, let's not coin flip. Let's not risk it because I don't know whether the others are going to be or if the others are coming uh, soon. So rather play it safe and just give it than try to overforce something where the the opponents are just doing better right now. And Mundo goes mid lane, gets another kill. Looks like bot lane might also die. Oh, he's very low. Dr. Mundo might gank bot lane, so I will try to move down. Okay, we got the ultimate. Mundo is in the brush right here. I'm gonna jump over, try to see if I can kill him. We land the first ability, doing decent amount of damage. Try to get out of the range of the crux so I do more isolation damage. Uh, he survives this, and now Vega is coming and have to get out. Maybe Katarina can get him at least. Katarina jumps over the wall, he uses the first ability, does get the kill onto the Dr. Mundo. So I get an assist, but I think she's going to end up dying right here. She's going to try to execute, but Camille gets, this, uh, gets the kill. Yeah, but sometimes games like these are... Hard. Like, usually if a Kha'Zix starts the game with like 2 or 3 kills, he will snowball the game into Oblivion. But this game is a very hard fought game because we are right now losing pretty damn badly. Um, Gonna go for my blue buff right here. Try to keep farming. Sometimes as a Kha'Zix, just focus on farming. Try to get objectives as possible when you're behind right now. And then once you have a lot of gold, maybe you can ambush and try to uh, pick people off in uh, brushes. But yeah, right now I can't really do anything. I see Dr. Mundo is bot lane, so I assume his red buff is up. So I'm just gonna go for the skill right here and um, invade him. They do kill the Dr. Mundo. Okay, Varus gets a kill. Varus kills the Thresh in a 1 vs 2, very good. And right now I'm gonna try to flank on the Ash to get uh, another kill here as well. They do get the first turret for this though. But it's not that bad. I took his red buff and we got two kills. And I got the shutdown on the Ash. Okay, right here I'm doing a mistake by the way. I have enough for Dust Blade. And the others are coming, and yet I'm starting this even though my smite is not up. I tried to rush this before the others are coming, but now they're here, I don't, I don't have smite. It's a big mistake. I'm coin flipping even though I don't have items and I don't have smite. That's a dumb mistake by me. Like, really bad. For no reason. I should have just reset it and just went for the Herald, because Ocean Dragon is not that important. I mean, it's nice to have to stack... As a Kha'Zix, it's obviously very nice to stack up um, the dragons, because the more dragons, the better. But in this case, since we're losing right now, or we were losing, and I didn't have items plus smite yet, I should have just reset it, get item, and then go for the Rift Herald instead, and just trade it, since we're behind. So going for the 5 vs 5, or going for 4 vs 4, might be too hard when you're behind. So yeah... Just going for just, just bad, bad decision making. It was bad decision making by me, forcing this. And right now I'm just getting caught again uh, by Camille ultimate plus Thresh. So this was pretty well played by them. Malfoy lands the ultimate. Katarina's jumping in. So far Katarina is carrying us pretty hard. Like she's doing really good like in the top team fight and even now Malfoy ultimate into uh, Katarina jumping in. Everyone's low life right here. They're getting chased down. They end up dying though. So yeah, what's my bet getting caught there? Oh, I don't have water here. Wait a second. Water. 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 Yeah, I mean to be fair I didn't expect that. I mean, Camille ultimate into Thresh Hook. But yeah, two mistakes back to back. So the better option, like I said, would have been 
potentially just trade. Let them get the Ocean Dragon and get the Herald instead. And with the Herald, we can um, get maybe the mid turret or the bot turret. Okay, Rakan with the engage. We get one pick off. Is that a shutdown? Okay. Varus gets a kill. That's not too bad. But this is probably a very hard gameplay, so you guys can learn and see how to come back from a position like this. Instead of like a like, I mean, obviously, I could just upload a game where I'm starting 3-0 and I end up the game with 10-0 or something, like a very easy game. But I think you guys might enjoy in those closer games where I mean, the, these are probably like the more typical games you guys are experiencing, where like the bot lane. Uh, it's not doing that well and the enemy bot lane is just turbo stomping because right now they the thrash and the enemy adc are so so strong like thrash is roaming the whole map 24 7. i don't know why he's pinging me like i can't do more damage than that but we do get that kill though nice i mean he's 1-7 by the way my rakan is 1-7 um, Ash is 8-4 and Thresh is 5-2-7 so yeah game is hard game is hard when <laughs> when the bot is just dominating so badly okay, I'm pinging right now I'm pinging I don't know why Rakan is moving here I'm pinging let's go in Malfoy is jumping in I'm gonna come with the invisibility trying to focus the Ash Ash gets sheep or passive. We're gonna keep focusing on here. I get the kill. I'm gonna jump over. And maybe one more first ability. Malphite uses his first ability. And we get two kills right here. Nice. I'm pinging for dragon, but I'm really low myself, to be fair. Smite is okay, it's spawning in five seconds. I'm gonna take the heal point so I get some healing. My smite is up in 15 seconds. It's gonna spawn right now. Three people are still dead. That's why I'm pinging it. Because it's a great opportunity for us to get the Inferno Dragon. Okay, my smite is gonna be up in five seconds. I'm gonna queue over the wall trying to harass this guy down a little bit. Okay, my smite is gonna be up. And I first ability into smite combo. Combo together because the isolation damage of the first ability does a lot of damage. We're using smite at the same time. So we have an easier time securing the dragon. And right now we have Yuma's Ghost Blade. Enough. I'm going to try to clear this jungle camp, get some items afterwards, and then time to ambush. Ooh, someone took my rep buff. I'm going to get that Yumus Ghost Blade. Um, in this game, we do need Enter Heal because they have Dr. Mundo, Camille. Yeah, Dr. Mundo, Camille, and even Asha, Shippo. Uh, so, um, Serpent's Fang, also very good this game. Red shield, uh, Camille. Wait, who else do they have? They have a Vega. I mean, to be fair, this game it's not a must have, but it's very good against Shippo meta. I would recommend you guys to get it. Like, Sharpen's Fang in this meta is very important. Um, to reduce the shielding from like a Janna, from like a Lulu, from a Shield Bow, from Sterox Gage, Serpent's Fang, very good to reduce shielding. And also, more to reminder, very good on this meta to reduce healing uh, from the Shield Bow. Uh, Camille also, if she was running Thundra, has a lot of sustain. Dr. Mundo, obviously, with the ultimate, a lot of sustain. Gonna get Executioner's Calling for some anti healing. They're fighting in the bot lane. I'm gonna try to move. We're catching up though. Now, right now, the game score is 1922. I'm gonna try to flank and maybe catch the uh, Vega right here. Trying to find the Vega. He's already back, running back. Oh, they put a ward here so they see me. Oh, Camille's here. I'm gonna jump over. She follows me with the ultimate though. I should have used Dasis earlier. I'm going to use Stasis right now. I should have used it earlier. Okay. Varus gets the kill on Camille. I'm very low life, so I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to jump here. And I'm going to... Wait, why am I not smiting immediately? 
Oh yeah, I saved the smite because I was scared they might try to rush the Baron. So I didn't use the smite to heal myself up right here. Because I was like, maybe they're gonna go for Baron. And see, they are starting Baron. That's why I didn't smite on the Crux. Because I would get some healing, but at the same time it's risky because... Did Katarina jump, jump in? Trying to poke? I'm getting really low right here. Katarina's jumping in. I'm super, super low life right now. The plant is up. I should have taken the plant already at this point. I'm waiting right here for some uh, finishing, maybe, potentially. I'm gonna jump in right now, get the kill, and I'm gonna jump out again. Just waiting like a sneaky assassin to finish off people. Okay, right now, see, I wanted to kill Vega, but Camille with the E flash immediately onto my face couldn't react in time and I just die. But I think overall it's not too bad because we got a bunch of kills. The game score is 24 to 26 right now. It was 10 to 20 or something. So we are catching up. Game is pretty even at this point. And even though my bot lane had a kinda bad start in the early game, they're catching up right now. Oh, they're doing pretty solid at this point. I think everyone is doing a decent job at, uh, at this point. In the early game, uh, the bot lane was dying 2 versus 2, but right now they're doing a decent job. And I'm just going to go for the red buff. I'm telling my people to group up. They're diving onto the Ash. Ash might survive right here. She does die from the Katarina, so this is pretty, pretty damn big. So one of them is dead right before the dragon is going to spawn. That's going to give us a man advantage. I have the second ability. I'm going to try to poke people down with the second ability right here. I'm going to try to jump on the Vega. I, um, I react to Vega's flash at the same time. And I'm going to... Like he flashed and I flashed at the same time. And that's how I managed to pick him off. Get the kill onto the Vega. And right now I'm just going to rush this. Three people are dead. Including the enemy jungler. So it's going to be an easy time for us to secure it. I'm going to jump over right here. And we get the kill onto the Camille. Super, super big. And right now I'm just pinging my teammates. By the way, I didn't smite the dragon because I wanted to save smite for the um, for the Nasher right here. I'm pinging my people. Hey, boys. Boys. It's Nasher time. Nasher. By the way, a second ability plus Morty Reminder is so, so good. Because you do so much damage. With the second ability poking people down in team fights or before a team fight even happens, plus it applies anti heal onto everyone, so this is actually pretty dope. I'm gonna go for the bot lane right here, trying to clear, and then I'm gonna reset afterwards and get some items. Get the mortal reminder. Get the anti shield as well. If you guys are snowballing really badly, you can get Collector earlier, by the way. You can always opt for Collector earlier. Wait, what's happening here? Lord. Because you have better one shot potential then, like better execution damage on the first ability, or in general. Okay, someone needs to defend bot lane though. I think I have to defend bot lane. Yeah. Because the, the the problem is I see they want to fight, but I see the bot wave, but no one is defending bot wave right now. But I should have been uh, resetting or... Hey, honestly, it should have been someone else defending this, not me. But yeah, I'm resetting right now trying to defend this, but I'm too late. I should have went earlier. Since no one moves, I'm kind of forced to do it. But look, he's just gonna brute force this. And he's also gonna get it. Okay, I kill him, but we lose tier 3 turret for this. It's not worth. It is not worth. But we have no one defending this. Yeah, someone needs to push out. It shouldn't be the jungler. The, jung the jungler needs to be in team fights. That's uh, why I didn't want to go first. Oh, the stairs is though. 
And this is not a good team fight. Rakan jumps in again. Don't like this. Yeah, someone needs to push up bot lane. It's gonna be a big problem because now Camille has Heartbreaker plus a super minion wave. And uh, the next objective is gonna spawn soon, but no one is defending bot lane. It should be Malphite to be fair. I mean, yeah, it would be nice if Malphite is in team fight, but it's better for Malphite to hold the lane against Camille than me. It's a big problem. It's it's very good that Camille is not pushing bot lane while Elder is up. Camille should have kept pushing bot lane because the bot wave is constantly pushing in. You see, no one is hit. No one is hit. finally he's resetting. Like I need to be at the Elder, but if Camille was pushing bot lane right now with the super minion wave plus Heartbreaker, if she did that, we would have such a major problem. Like because who defends this? Like I need to be at the Elder team fight. I need to be there, because if I'm not there, they will just rush it. So it's Malphite, Malphite's job to... Uh, oh, we're just gonna try to chunk, uh, chunk them down right here. I see Camille is chasing my Varus and his low life, so I'm gonna just go for the Camille first. Get the reset on Camille. I'm gonna flash forward and just jump and jump, and we get those kills. We're luckily, we are very lucky by the way. That Camille stopped pushing bot lane. That was a big ma macro mistake. She did really good by keep pushing at the bot lane while we were busy. I'm not gonna smite yet because I want to keep it for. Oh, actually, I did smite. I wanted to keep it for Baron. I think it doesn't matter. We can do it. I'm pinging right now because there's no one who could steal it. Actually, Mundo. But I think Mundo's not gonna come. Mundo's mid lane still. Yep. I'm gonna try to take the plants right here. Katarina kills the Dr. Mundo, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna try to get this. I'm gonna smite early, so I get some sustain back. And we get it. Nice. I'm gonna reset right now and get the collector. But yeah, um, if Camille was smart and watched my Baron guy that I've made, she would have went bot lane with the super minions, pushing with the Heartbreaker. Even Malphite can't stop this. And then two people would have to hold the wave because they... Otherwise, Camille just ends the game. And then we have a disadvantage at Elder. But we are lucky that Camille joined the Elder instead of continuing split pushing. Because then we are in a 5 vs 5 position. And now Mal Malphite is way better in teamfight than Camille. So big mistake by Camille uh, not continuing split pushing. But as a jungler, you shouldn't be the one defending the lanes. Because you need to be in teamfights. That's the thing. Just watch this, watch this, watch this, by the way. And try to poke. And now I'm gonna jump on the Vega. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? This guy had so much HP and I just nuked him. I just nuked this guy. And we just end the game. He had like 70% HP and I just one-shotted Vega. Just boom, jump, bam, sayonara. But that's the one-shot potential with Collector, as you guys can see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Katarina played really well. Um... She carried us out of the early mid game, pretty much. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I see you guys next time. That's Graf. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright.